August 2, 2023. Ukraine war, approximately nine years and seven months into the invasion of Crimea. Day 525 of Special Putin's operations. Big picture. The last day has been all about fighting in Donetsk Oblast. Dnieper line. The Kremlin ordered some 414 shells to be fired into the right bank. Ukraine has destroyed a handful of patrol boats and has run patrols to the left bank, but since the capture of the left bank dacha at the Antonivka bridge, the Dnieper has been relatively quiet as far as ground attacks are concerned. Zaporizhia front. Kremlin forces attempted to cross the Morkioli at Staromyorsky from the village of Eurozhain. Reported shelling in this area was significantly lower than previous days. East Front, Donetsk. Attacks at Marienka continued again today. Both north and south of Avdiivka the Kremlin attempted to make gains but was repulsed. Bakhmut area. Further north in Donetsk Oblast, just south of Bakhmut at the villages of Klishchivka and Andreevka the Kremlin made three distinct attempts to take more land from Ukraine. In response Ukrainian troops appear to have made a fixing attack into the heights between Kodyanka and Andreevka. Combat may be ongoing, with neither side making statement of an outcome. Oskol border front. No news. It appears either the Kremlin was hoping to stall Ukraine in the south, or they just got their rears handed to them. In either case, no news from Kremlin mouthpieces or Ukraine about this area. Northern border. In what appears to be a counterintel operation, the Kremlin is claiming it is arming random volunteers in Belgorod. From three days to Kiev, to quickly Boris, take this Mosin. Day 525. Black Sea. On the Arabat Spit, a long sandy barrier island which runs east of Crimea, the Russians are attempting to create a new military base and are forcing the residents out of their homes. On the other side of Crimea, on a spit outside of Zelizny port, the Ukrainians recorded the destruction of a company of soldiers in one morning via drone strikes. Their commander drilled the company every day at the same time in the same place, which assisted in mission planning. Ukraine world related. The US doesn't need to approve F-16 training, as they already approved training could be done. The US doesn't need to know if Ukraine is trained properly, they can trust the Ukrainians and the trainers. The US has plenty of F-18, F-15, and F-16 that can be gifted to any of these nations to start training today. At this rate, Ukraine will be training Gen 5 in a decade, when everyone else is on Gen 6. Stop asking the US if you can train Ukrainians, DC already said yes, tell them to stuff it if they complain later. We will conclude today with words from Ukraine's first lady. If the aggressor wins now, it will be the worst case scenario for all of humanity. This will mean that global deterrents aren't working, 